What's up everybody, Damon here, and in today's movie and streaming news, we've got more images of the Toxic Avenger remake, the first trailer for the Onimusha Netflix series, and everything you need to know about exploring the belt, presented by The Expanse, a Telltale series. Let's get into it. You may have heard there's a remake of the 1984 schlock classic The Toxic Avenger on the way. It's actually premiering at Fantastic Fest tomorrow, September 21st. But today we have a batch of images, courtesy of Entertainment Weekly, that introduce some more characters. In particular, a transformed Elijah Wood, who gives us real Penguin circa Batman Returns vibes. In fact, writer-director Macon Blair says that was exactly the inspiration. He told Entertainment Weekly it's, quote, sort of riffraff from the Rocky Horror Picture Show and the Danny DeVito Penguin mixed together. The idea is that you forget that it's the Elijah that you know from Lord of the Rings or anything else. Elijah Wood has given us great villainous performances before. Remember his silent role in Sin City? The Toxic Avenger remix stars Peter Dinklage as the title character, who we see here in this image, presumably before his encounter with Toxic Waste turns him into the unlikely hero. Blair explains, similar to the original Toxic Avenger, he's singularly unqualified to be a hero. He's not especially brave, he's not especially crafty, but he has his heart in the right place and he starts taking it to the limit when he's pushed into a corner. We also see Kevin Bacon, who plays the greedy executive in charge of the company Dinklage's character works for. Blair says Bacon's character is in quote, the mold of Lex Luthor, where they have all this money and resources at their disposal, but he's just kind of a disaster. And Bacon's character runs quote, a gang of dangerous lunatics, the Killer Nuts, which we see here. After the original Toxic Avenger was released in 1984, parts two and three were both released in 1989. Part 4 was unleashed in 2000, but the franchise has remained dormant in theaters since then. Of course, there was an animated series that aired on television in 1991, an award-winning rock musical that ran from 2008 to 2017, and a 1992 video game released on NES, Game Boy, and Sega Genesis. With the remake premiering tomorrow, we should have the first reviews of the new Toxic Avenger arriving later this week. Moving on, Netflix has released its first trailer for the animated adaptation of Capcom's Onimusha video game franchise. It's due to premiere on November 2nd, later this year. The action-packed three-minute trailer shows protagonist Miyamoto Musashi don the series' iconic Oni Gauntlet and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a varied cast of foes, both demonic and human alike. As the trailer unfolds, Musashi is handed a 33-day deadline in which to complete a covert mission, while a seemingly human antagonist, drinking a suspiciously blood-like liquid, lays out his wish to exterminate all remaining samurai in Japan. Later, a flame-wreathed entity charges Musashi with the task of killing the Genma, a race of demons, and trapping their souls in the Oni Gauntlet. Throughout, we're also given glimpses into the tragic life of a young girl who Musashi fights to protect. The action unfolds against a backdrop of a fantasy-infused take on the Edo period of Japanese history, which has been stunningly realized using hand-drawn backgrounds, while the on-screen characters have been brought to life with 3D CGI. The Onimusha video game series began in 2001 with the release of Onimusha Warlords, and was successful enough to spawn three further mainline games along with a number of spin-offs. Now, barring the release of a 2019 remaster of the PS2 original, the Onimusha franchise has been largely dormant for over a decade at this point. Netflix's Onimusha adaptation is being helmed by supervising director Takashi Miike and director Shinya Sugai, who had previously worked on the streaming giant's CG animated adaptation of Dragon's Dogma. I've actually never played Onimusha, but this looks cool. Here's hoping it's up to the standards of the Castlevania and Cyberpunk series. Now, what's it like being stranded in deep space, scavenging wrecks, and trying to keep your whole crew alive? That's life in The Expanse, a Telltale series. This episodic narrative adventure game follows the story of Exo Kamina Drummer before we ever meet her on the show. Now, never watched The Expanse? No problem. This prequel game is the perfect jump on point for people curious about The Expanse with lots of deep cuts for longtime fans of the show. Let me catch you up to speed. The Expanse is a critically acclaimed sci-fi drama about humanity's first fumbling steps into the solar system in the not too distant future. The key players, Earthers, Martians, and Belters. Earthers and Martians are at each other's throats. These two superpowers are trapped in an interstellar cold war. Earth maintains a massive fleet of ships led by the United Nations. Mars, on the other hand, is a colony longing for independence from Earth with its own culture and a smaller but more sophisticated space fleet. Then there's the Belters, citizens of, you guessed it, the asteroid belt, looking to make a living any way they can, which is where the Expanse, a Telltale series, kicks off. You and your crew aboard the Artemis are just trying to get by until you hear about the opportunity of a lifetime. That's when things start getting out of control. Check out The Expanse, a Telltale series for yourself today. The first four episodes are available now on Xbox, PS5, and the Epic Game Store, with the fifth and final episode dropping September 21st. And that is your entertainment fix for Wednesday, September 20th. Now that you're caught up on the news, check out our review of Ahsoka Episode 6. I'm Damon Hadfield, and for all your movie and streaming news, stay tuned to IGN.